<laughs> Hello, Adam Show Things. Hello, and what? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. As you can see over here, there's Lucas. I need your assistance now. You need, no, you're my assistant. No, I need your assistance. What, what's up? I've just threaded the cable. Yeah. Like loads of it. Yeah. But it's not there. Oh, God. Can you believe in things that you don't understand when you suffer? So essentially, Luke is here to help us today because we have a, uh, well, big job on, as usual. This is one of the Alex's House videos in the Alex's House series. Now you guys know recently we've done the network, which was a big install, big dish on the roof, had to put the cable through the roof, and then we've done the, the whole server rack. If you guys haven't seen those videos about my network around my house, spreading the Wi-Fi around, then uh, those are up there on the channel. But today, today it's all about home security. <laughs> So guys, please, 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 please love me and bear with me today because usually when I uh, do a tech flow video, I mean half the point is I know what I'm talking about. Um, but I've never actually delved into CCTV before, so this is quite interesting. I'm using Ubiquiti's gear. I honestly have no idea that it's going to be any good, so we will, I suppose we will all find out together. But this right here is the Unify Video NVR with a 2 terabyte SSD. Now essentially, this plugs into your network via, I believe, a single Ethernet cable and allows you to... Oh wow, this is all very, very nice. So there we go, look at that. Oh, look at that, there we are. So this, guys, is our NVR. It's really, really nice, the unit attracts fingerprints. On the back of it, we've got four USB ports, one LAN port, an HDMI, a VGA port, not sure what that one is, and then a power port? Essentially, all I'm gonna do with this, I believe, is plug it into the network and the power into it and then this is our NVR we connect to it via an IP address on the network and this is going to record all of our cameras so I think much like the NVR and this is the reason why I love all of this um, network CCTV systems because you don't have a, uh, a separate loads of cables running it's just Ethernet to every single one of the cameras so much like the NVR which is going to record everything you connect the cameras which are these these are the G3 Pros they are uh, so, so strong. I mean, look at this, these mounting mechanisms here. They essentially just connect in via Ethernet and then you plug them into what's called a PoE switch. Now, if you have no idea what a PoE switch is, I'll put part three of where we network this house in the description of this video. And if you didn't know, a uh, PoE switch is essentially a network switch, but what it does is it can supply power to devices at the same time. So essentially, you plug this into the switch, the camera into the switch via one single cable, and that's gonna travel data and power across that cable. So it makes things super, super easy. And then once you plug in a camera, it should just appear in the NVR as to which then you can adopt it and add it to the system. I think this is all meant to be really high quality, but also really, really easy. And this is the G3 dome camera. I've got two types of camera. And we're gonna put eight cameras up, not today, but eventually eight cameras up around this house. So this should be fun. All right, mate? Ready? Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go guys, Lucas has been hard at work already pre-running some of the cables So as you can see the cameras will literally sit right here nice and flush So this guys is just essentially normal Ethernet cable and uh, like we've done in previous videos I'm gonna put this Ethernet end on here and that is essentially just an Ethernet cable That's gonna plug into the camera and supply power and data transfer to the camera. Really sweet Okay, so essentially what I need to do it's drilled two little holes <laughs> and mount this camera. Hopefully it's going to be that easy. Awesome. That ain't going anywhere. So you run the cable through there and then that just clicks into there like that. And all of this, by the way, guys, is IP68 water resistant. So uh, we should be all good keeping these things outside. It all screws together like that. And then, guys, what I'm going to do is feed the excess cable back into the loft and then this thing guys just sort of screws onto the wall bracket which we've screwed onto the wall that looks awesome and then guys this is actually genius so they give you this plastic insert now in the box i was like what the hell is this this is so well you essentially it sounds really stupid but you put it on here and then it allows you to 
really, really twist this and get it super, super tight. And there we go, camera installed. That looks, that looks the business. So guys, as you can see, we have run a cable or the cable from the camera, which is literally just on this B pillar of the house right here, over to here. I'm gonna now run it into the switch right here or into our rack rather. And then I'm gonna come around here and I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the switch. And then as you can see, the switch has come on. It's supplying power over ethernet to it. And hopefully that side, we should have a green flashing light. So essentially guys, all I'm gonna do with this is plug its power brick in and I'm just gonna sit it on here and connect it with an ethernet cable into the network. So now essentially the camera and the MVR, all they're doing is connecting into my switch, into my network, and that is it. The rest is done via a web interface that you connect to via an IP address, which I need to figure all of that out in just a second. So guys, it's told me to configure my IP address on my computer to so 192.168. Dot one, well, anything in the dot one range. So one, I'm just gonna put myself at 1.88. So guys, there you go, I've clicked enter and it says set up NVR. So I'm gonna uh, configure a name for this thing. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna call it. I think what I'm gonna do is call it the name of the house. Or oh, I know what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it Mars Manor. There we go, that's what I'll do. M-A-R-Z Manor. There we go, and then I'm gonna agree to the terms of service. Click next. And then I'm going to set all this username and password stuff up and hopefully we should be able to add a camera. This is sick. I have just come guys over to my MacBook so all of you can see this a little bit easier right here. So what I've gone ahead and done here is clicked on the unmanaged tab and rightly so it's brought up one camera here that's unmanaged because that's all we've managed to plug in at the moment. I've gone ahead and I've clicked manage on this camera and now what it's apparently doing is upgrading the firmware automatically. No way, that's awesome. And now guys, here we go. This is the camera that Luke has just put up and we are positioning it so it, well, it gets the perfect position of the road. So here we go guys, Lucas is now up there. Lucas has gone up to the back right camera. So I'm gonna load up this one. Here he is. And we're just gonna change the angle of them to make sure that they're pointing in the right directions. Okay guys, this is our third and final camera that we are installing for today's video. Yes, there's gonna be numerous more cameras going up, but quite clearly I don't want to install all of my security cameras and put out the exact location of them on my house and how they're all connected on a YouTube video because that would be very stupid from a security standpoint. But this video is merely just to show you guys that uh, this ubiquity stuff is, is really, really cool, which it is. I didn't know it was, but it really is. I mean, look at that thing, it's a little dome. So there you guys go. I have now added the dome camera. It's looking absolutely awesome. Angle it down, is that as far as it goes down? Yeah, a little bit more, mate. So there you guys go. There are our three cameras that we've installed for today's video on the Unify NVR with all of these cameras. They're looking absolutely wicked. Don't record, always record, record on motion or record on schedule. I'm going to always record in 1080p and do that on all three of the cameras. And guys, also the app is super cool, allowing you to, uh, well, view as many cameras as you want at once. Really, really awesome. And by the way, I'm on 4G here, so I could be anywhere in the world. Cool guys, so it's getting a little bit dark now. We've got our dome camera up there looking absolutely awesome, monitoring the front here. Then we also have our two cameras up there looking nice and symmetrical. One looking down there, one looking down there, and they are super, super, super wide angle. I will also put some night footage or some, you know, IR footage over the top of this video now so you can see what these things look like at night. But I, guys, I'm going to be doing a Ubiquiti Dream Home tour video very, very soon when I walk you through, guys, everything I've done that uh, is from Ubiquiti in this house, which is the CCTV and the entire network. So with that being said, guys, my name's been Alex. You guys have been awesome. These look so professional. I'll leave all the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.